Hey guys, how you doing? Anonymous here. We are going to be checking out the uh, Megaduck support on the Game Boy Core. This was actually <coughs> just fixed um, because of an issue that we spotted in a previous stream. So I reported this to one of the main de developers, uh, Risha, of the Game Boy Core, and I believe her and Paul figured it out. It was something to do with, uh, like, object layering with the windows. I don't know what that means, but the really smart people that are behind the mister figured it out. But basically, we were seeing... We weren't seeing the full picture. We were seeing, like, like, like there wasn't layers on top of layers. So some of the games that we tried to play last time we, we checked this out were not showcasing the, the bottom part of the screen, so... This is all fixed, and uh, yeah, we're gonna play some probably some horrible games today, but probably we'll find like something good, like Beast Fighter. So I have put everything into a uh, to a wheel to side, and we'll go from there. What's up, Dad Flap? Welcome, Gorin, Tex, QC. I might have been drinking margaritas before this stream, so I I. Uh, made some espresso some very strong espresso to, to wake me up what else is new uh i hacked the uh i finally updated the um analog pocket which is like a portable fpga with support for the neo geo uh sms the master system the game gear the sg 1000 game boy advance game boy color game boy so I'm pretty stoked about that when everything loads off the SD card here and then you guys haven't seen this case this case is pretty nice from Pelican so Charlie Farr welcome oh and uh, I also got in uh, Always Awakening a hard copy of this game this is a Nintendo a new Nintendo game this case is pretty dope too uh, and it comes in like a clear cart I'll show you guys with a bunch of extras I figured if I, I really, really like this game already, so I figured since this is a limited release of the physical cart, I figured I should pick it up now before the prices get ridiculous. I also, um, I found it at MSRP, which is nice, because, uh, I never like paying, like, gouger prices or whatever. Yo, what's up, prop? It is so warm in here. What about Game Boy and a Game Boy and a Game Boy? Mega Duck support for the Game Boy Core. The Mega Duck. Here, let's look up the Mega Duck, and I'll show you why this is uh, supported under the Game Boy. So the Mega Duck is a clone Game Boy system. Um, I believe for the Asian market, it was also known as the Cougar Boy. <laughs> it's this ugly little beautiful beast that was a copy of the Game Boy. So much to the point where it uses the same clone hardware. Um, so the support for this was added under the Mister quite a quite a bit back. Uh, but to my finding, um, some of the some of the objects were not showing up on the screen. <clears throat> so yeah, a little weird little flat carts. Yeah. There's also this is the Supervision. We played the Supervision last week, or like a month ago. Anyways, let's get to it. You loved all on the PC? Yeah. I never played the original Steam the Steam uh, game. Solimon's Treasure. Is. The sound chip, the sound chip on this uh, this little device. It's a little rough. Like I physically, <laughs> when I hear, good lord, when I hear tones like this, I close an eye, and it's like it's not something I can control. Like, I'll naturally, like, shy away from it. I don't know, this does sound worse than Wonderswan. Swan. 
And thanks again, that that folk for 56 months. So what is this? Oh, it's Aardvark. Nice. So a lot of these, like, clone games and systems use, uh... Like, established ideas from previous video games. This is a game, this is an arcade game called Aardvark. You can eat stuff, but you can't have your have anything run into your your beam. This one's controls really bad though. You have to, like, get directly on the, uh... Oh, the ghost took me this out. You have to get directly where you need to turn. Same resolution? I think so. It's almost uh, another song. What is that? It's totally like copying a song. Oh, you can't do the bombs. Okay, or the spikes. Got it. Oh, I guess I'd have to face the thing that way. Came out of nowhere. So what am I supposed to do there if I can't eat it? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe I can... No, I can't go back into the car. Bruh. That's not fair. So I'm gonna die no matter what because of this thing. You can eat most things like that. Yeah, I wonder if it's just bad game design or what. Because I can't go... <coughs> if I could go back into the car, or if I could eat the, the spikes, it'd be fine. Oh, it can pass through my line. That's one of the things that can pass through your line. Okay. Derp. What? Why? 
Yeah, we got it this time, though. Does anybody recognize the song yet? It's killing me. Oils well. Yeah, it's all these are all based on an arcade game called Aardvark, which is uh, a lot of fun. So they're all clones of Aardvark. Oh, something that hit me. Ah, uh, the eyeball. Seems like Pac-Man worse. It's it's interesting. This is a good game. You see, you just don't you just don't realize it. Now that actually is a flaw. Well, so I'm supposed to go grab the, uh, the hand right away. So, it... It seems like it might be set RNG, so you might be able to speedrun this. Uh, I would have to go grab the snail. Okay, now it's now it's not a good game. I gotta eat this hand. Mouth is gonna get me. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Sexy. But a puzzle game. It'd make it easier, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely some things that I can that can go through my line that don't hurt me. Learning that would be key. I think the candy stuff I can actually get hit by. We'll, we'll uh, beat this stage and then we'll move on. First word.
Boo. I think I think that's good enough for that game. <laughs> All right, so that's Solomon's treasure. Trap in turn. Okay, I kind of get it. You try to be on the other two sides. What's up, Pass Blaster? Very pleasant. You should have heard the other song, we, the other game we tried to play. So I guess you have to turn something over in your attempts. <laughs> Can't put <laughs> story of my life. <laughs> Dare they? There's no way to turn that back, too. I just got fricked up. Can't put. Can't put. Uh. Can't put. Can't put. Dude. Why can't I put it there? Getting wrecked. Can't put it there. <laughs> I can't put it anywhere. This is like beginner difficulty too. Oof. So these outer board these outer board pieces are huge.
Pretty bad at this. Yikes! Oh no! I'm getting destroyed! They passed me? How rude. Oh dude! 32! At the end there. Oh, we tied! Hey! I'll take a tie. In a game I don't know how to play. Alright, I kind of get the objective, but I don't know any strategy. I imagine it's like chess where there's like very common opening, opening, you know, openers. If you if you get all of them turned over, do you automatically win? Like right away, I wonder. We do. Tight. The song's kind of making me sleepy. It's like a bad nursery rhyme. You son of a biscuit. I can't put it there? <laughs> Yikes, dude. What a move. see that. Ow. Ow. These are, these are painful. Are you ready for, ready for this? Warner, server not responding. My chat disconnected? Yo, Sarv. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Sarv and Icarus viewers. Is it is it movie time with Anise? I, I I would totally quit streaming to to watch some games with the kids. Welcome in. Sarv, uh, Sarv just got, uh, two world records, I think, today, for Gunstar Superheroes, which is a super rad treasure game. We're playing, uh, the Mega Duck on the Game Boy Core. It just got full support, and, uh, we're exploring all the games. I don't, I don't know, uh, this is, what is this? This is Trap and Turn. I don't, I think this is Othello, right? I don't know how to play this, so I'm trying to... Trying to not get pwned here, but I'm getting pwned pretty hard. Can't put. I'm learning where I can't put it, though. 
So that's a good thing. It, it sucks because, like, there's... I would strategically want to put it here. That way they don't close out this entire row. But I can't because... I don't have one of their pieces in between these two pieces. Or I can't put it there. Or there. Pretty weak move. You biscuit eater. Can't put it there. Oh no. Yikes! Oh, that's really rough. And I can't put it here, but they can put it there and completely take out that entire row. Not fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing this one. Alright, that's trap in turn. Armor Force. Okay. We have a shmup here, I think. Battle of Moon. Oh yeah, we played this last time. How the shot system works. I know if you die, you get you have to start the whole stage over again. Gotta kill these apple fritters. We got a radius boss. Oh, so we can change to that thing. I think it's a time, and it's a timed amount. I don't 
don't know when I can activate that or not, though. But I, I ideally probably want to save that uh, weapon for a boss. Like this. Then I can swap back. I don't want this shot again. I think it's how much damage you have in the bottom right. It determines what shot you have. Gonna run into me too. I think that's how I died last time. No. Nope. Oh, I got lucky. Cave can sleep easy at night. I don't know. This is some good competition. Cave does make mobile games, so this might be a threat. I wonder if I can run into the walls. Probably not. Thing. No! They bounce back. Alright, so can I switch shots now? Alright, then my health starts rebuilding back when it automatically switches back. Okay. Got it. Uh, I don't want to switch to that. I want to stay in this shot. Yep. So any of you guys uh, have uh, analog pockets or have one on order? I've, uh, I wasn't really playing it before the, uh, before the open FPGA implementation. I think it, it, I think I'm gonna start carrying it with me a lot more often now, though. Especially when Turbo Graphics, Neo Geo Pocket, and the Lynx Core come eventually.
You think so? Yeah, he asked his patrons if, uh... <clears throat> if they wanted analog support, and the, the voting was actually against it, which I was surprised. But, um, yeah, that'd be, I mean, that'd be amazing, having CPS1 and CPS2. It's really cool to see, uh... <clears throat> Neo Geo, Pac, Neo Geo, uh, get the support. And for it to be somebody, you know, outside of Furtech, porting his core over. Okay, big old hitbox. This isn't cave, I can't... Gotta play the whole stage again, dude? Oh no! Just gotta play perfect. We'll beat stage two and then we'll move on. I assume this is gonna be one of the <coughs> one of the better games. Even if it is a little bit slow. <sighs> Plus it's got the hot jams, right? Yeah, playing goals like goals and ghosts uh, mobile would be amazing, especially with that kind of accuracy. Trying to save my health for the boss. Yeah, it is kind of like that game. The whiskey. Next. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Neo, Ge Neo Geo Pocket. I did a stream like a year, year and a half ago, um, where we borrowed a Neo Geo Pocket and I played a bunch of games, but it was just a camera on the screen. Um, everything we played was really good, so I'm really looking forward to that core. It's a huge library of exclusives.
what hit me? Dang. <sighs> Boo. That was bad, man. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, kill all the mega robot ducks, space daddy. Also, Project Patrick says hello from the other side, 8D. No, Albert, thank you for the donation. R69. Um, what I was gonna say before Albert wanted to meme, uh, I'm playing on a Hori Fighting Commander, but this is one for the Switch. The, the one for the PS4 actually ended up getting, uh, sold out and got up to like $100 on eBay. This, if you're using it for the purpose of the mister, this works and feels the exact same, and it's available for 30 bucks. So if you've been wanting a Hori Fighting Commander, feel free to pick up the Switch version. What's up, Albert? Captain Nicknack. Handheld, mister. That's cool. I'm surprised, <coughs> I'm surprised they're still doing that with the, uh, the analog being at the price point that it's at. I mean, the analog is two twenty. It was one ninety nine when it came out. So I mean, it's a it's a great deal, and the screen on it is insane. Like to think you're gonna beat, you're gonna beat this. Yo, Chris, thanks for the host. Come on, though. Oh, I didn't load everything correctly. You have to, um... When you load stuff on the Neo Geo, you have to load every single thing individually. So it's, uh, it's a pain in the butt. That's gonna, supposedly, this is gonna be fixed, though, with the, uh... With the new version of the, of the, uh, Neo Geo Core on, on the, the pocket. How capable is the FPGA? It's an Altera 5. It's uh, it's a less capable version, of, but it's the same chip that's in the Mister, just less co less uh, logic gates for a landscape orientation. You want the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance or orientation? Captain Knickknack. What's this? Why did I change? This is like toilet kids. It's better. What am I shooting at them? Yeah, it's uh it's just being um they just opened up the OS to allow people to run uh cores. It actually has two different FPGA chips. It has the main FPGA chips for uh or chip for its native support, and then it has uh, an additional Altera five uh that's for the uh open FPGA architecture. Floppy disk. Floppy disk of mushrooms. I wonder what changing to this circle does. I can only change to it, I can't change back. Oh, it looks like it's a power up because there's two of them in the top left corner. I wonder if I can't get hit when I'm in uh, 
viscous mode. Can I get hit? No, can't. Cool beans. Wonder what this theme is. It's like pocket calculators and pencils and stuff. Floppy disks. Notepads. Oh yeah, we, I've definitely played worse shmups. <laughs> Sad that we can say that. <laughs> this actually has good pixel art. Like, cute pixel art. <laughs> Here you go, uh, Gorin. Good eggs go in the trash. <laughs> good eggs go in the basket. Bad eggs go in the trash. <laughs> Chicken farm the shmup. It was meant to be. First word. Ugh. Gorn's not even here for it. Want to beat that boss? One CC. All right, here goes one CC. I wonder what makes us get more of the uh, the circle ship. Oh, we got a booster. We're speedy now. What if these games were made like one person each or something? Or what the team sizes were like? These seem to always give me power ups. Nice. Spicy. I just wish the shot didn't make that sound every time. We're just hearing that the entire time. I wonder if um, the booze is bad. If it's like a power down. I wonder what our main ship is too. It's like a ruby with legs. That's a clear screen. It's either a clear screen or a max power up, so it just gives you a clear screen. This reminds me of uh, Game Paradise a little bit. Take that, you chicken farmer.
We'll play till I get hit, and then we'll move on. More chickens. Yeah, I think the uh, I think my shot's getting thicker with the the booze. Thanks for the follow. Oh, I hit the uh. I didn't know you could hit the stage. Is that what happened? Let's see. I'm gonna try to run into this platform. Oh. I do miss my speed power up already. What's up, Zane's dad? Welcome. Maybe it's the tree I hit. No? Those crabs. Yeah, if you're just joining, we're uh, checking out the Megaduck support on the Game Boy Core. Uh, one of the main issues with the Megaduck on the Mister was was fixed today, so we're doing an uh, exploration stream, checking out all the games that I have, which is most of the uh, the Megaduck games. Only a few Mahjong games are missing. Uh, the Mega Duck support on the Game Boy. It's uh, like a window priority thing. Got fixed. It was something that we actually discovered on stream last time we tried to stream this. And I reported it. And they, uh, they figured it out. But even, like, uh, it's a problem that even on emulators, um, it was wrong. It was documented wrong, I guess. So this fix will probably go to emulators and everything else. The only place where it didn't wasn't showcased the the issue was on actual video of actual uh, hardware, where people like took a camera to to the Mega Duck. Whoa, buddy, coming in hot. Unfortunately, we don't have any more of those, uh, circle power-ups. I'm scared the dude's gonna, like, rush at me. Maybe he has a tell. Got him. Loads of random graphics. Yeah, it's weird, like, to, I don't still understand really what the theme is here. The first one was all, like, office supplies, and now this is all, like, frustration stuff. What's stage three gonna be? Bunnies? I have no idea what I am. You think I'm a tortuga? No! Well, it looks like I'm a, I'm a uh, turtle there. Maybe I'm a turtle with... No! Dude, why a shmup with stuff coming from the bottom of the screen? Get out of here. Oh, we're going Egyptian. Egyptian and pigs. Who would've... Who would have who would have guessed? What's up, Helldog? Welcome. Playing some uh, Mega Duck here. This is a, a handheld, like a bootleg Game Boy uh, handheld unit. Doing well, doing well. My shot's so weak right now. Wish more games were like, uh... What's that game for the Famicom Disk System? O uh... O Pocky or Opaki? Where they make the shot match the music? 
It'd be so much better if the my shot that's constantly going on. If it were to, like, add to the music here. Little piggies. Seeing the pigs makes me want to play uh, Budosan. So that's, uh... That's a decent game. Captain Knickknack? I don't hate it. Sound, though. Game was up. Captain Nicknack. <laughs> what was the one we played before? A Force? Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Albert. The brick wall. Wait, is it not getting rid of... stuff? Black Forest Tale. Is this? Aww. Look at the face. Eh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I look like Chun Li. Did you say that I do? That's one button. That's the other button. Okay. So we can turn stuff into rocks. And then smash. objective is probably kill all enemies oh and there's a shop <coughs> <coughs> oh and the stage is timed okay Alright, see you, Charlie. Have a good night. Charlie's a, uh, another Mr. PJ streamer you guys should be checking out if you don't already. Always playing, uh, some dank stuff. Click on their name and, uh, hit follow. Directionals, a lot of a lot of the directionals just want directly like a four-way. 
But the shmup, the two shmup games have won it eight way. This game plays this game itself though is very four way. So yeah, I wonder what the goal is because there's the exit. I only have 18 cash. Let's go back into the shop, see if there's a... Uh, if it's obvious on what we should do. Suck my boots to walk faster. New weapon. Definitely need the boots. Extra life. More time. I guess we'll buy more time because I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, that's better. That be? Mega Owl non -ducky. Yo, Jazz, long time no see. Thank you so much for uh, eight months there. Playing some uh, Mega Duck stuff right now. Hope you're well. So what the heck is the goal? Yeah, I take breaks every so often, too. I think it's healthy. Step away here and there. So, I've killed a lot of enemies. Let's see if the... Cause I can't feel... I can't see any other objective in this. I wonder if we're supposed to be doing something with these wells? I think this is the exit right here, but I can't do anything. Hmm. I have no idea. I'll have to watch a video to figure it out. That's Black Forest Tail. Not really sure. Ant Soldiers. I think this is uh, like a Lemmings type game. This is one of the games where we realized the the core was not playing as it was supposed to. I'm horrible at living's game, so we won't play this long. It's scaling though. Ten ants. So this whole that whole bottom area was not showing previously. that one to dig, I think. <clears throat> I 
I don't have a barricade to put up. This should be good, though. Ten out of ten. Password is face off. Albert's favorite movie. All right, so I have I have these five things, these two things. So I need to tell them to like maybe not go over here. Dude, he's turning into a fire. Not my babies. Wait, oh, so that's like a hold up. And then... Probably need to burn... Need you to catch fire, maybe? Dude, I'm such a bad ant dad. I think I figured it out, though. This guy gets over here. Tell him, no nah, dog. And then we'll go to the exit. Ideally, I'd have this guy a lot closer. I wonder how many, what the goal is. Maybe 50. Some decent jams for this sound system. the next stages. I'll let it go to 50. It looks like 40 is the max. Oh no, it's about to end. Alright, so I need to tell this dude to stop doing this. Stop that. Or maybe I need to catch him on fire. Sorry, guys. And that's a loss. Huh. <coughs> Surprised that something like this is on the system? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, actually. And I like that it's an original theme. So that was Ant Soldiers. Not bad. Street Rider. <clears throat> Not Street Fighter. Street Rider. Oh, we got Rally X. Yep. <laughs> so, I think my Rally X brain on again. Um, what do I need to do? I need to. Okay, I need to. 
collect all the green things, which is quite a bit of them. And then the blinky things are the, uh... Are the cars. Oh, yes, finally the game duck. Yeah, I know you've been holding your breath, so thank you for, uh... Continuing to hold your breath. Wait, is this exclamation point a uh, false, false one? Interesting. Give me speed, for the love of gosh. I didn't even see him coming. So you can see uh, what you need to collect on the the bot the map in the bottom left corner. I don't think Rally X has those exclamation points either. Because they're not even marked on the map. Alright, I gotta start looking out for the other drivers. Oh, there's gonna be one coming right at me. I wonder if I can pass them when they're in the smoke cloud. I need to try, actually. Uh, excuse me? Two there. Toasty. No thanks to the fellow. Thing. Try to pass him. I can. Nice. Bruh. Can't get to him. He's in here. That was a resident sleeper. Oh my gosh. Any way to move faster? I thought I got a power up. Last time, that actually ended up making me drive faster. Speed? Oh, baby. Here we go. Becomes fun game instantly. Hey, Cathode. Pop quiz. What's the difference between Rally X and New Rally X? Oh, the speed runs out! No! Sounds like Beach Boys. Wonder if it is. 
These, uh, these bootleg games are pretty notorious for ripping people off. Rally X has a map? No. There's one main difference. Are you cheating? Are you googling? No googling. I can I can hear you googling. <laughs> One has new in the title. That actually that's it. <clears throat> so one is a vertical game and one's a horizontal game. It's the same game. One was made as a standalone game and one was made as a conversion for vertical games. And now you know that stupid fact. <laughs> Alright, this is boring. <laughs> Street Rider! You fail. If it was new Street Rider, it would have been good. Bomb Disposer. Well, we got a. We have a Bomberman clone here. Totally not Bomberman. Mega Duck is a, uh, a Game Boy clone. Okay. A little Game Boy clone. Even down to the hardware. The Tiger made a Game Boy? What is this, Dr. Mario? I don't know how to play Dr. Mario, B BT dubs. What happens if I put it all the way down here? Nothing? Okay, one's three in a row. more than three? There was a Bomberman clone like this, too? Interesting. Really high-level uh, Dr. Mario is really fun to watch. Tetris 2. Do not. Beep, 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 beep. Sneaking in. This is going to take forever. No! 
Oh, do I have to only kill the moving blocks? Are you serious? And I'm just like playing along here? Well, shit. Let's just try putting something on top of it and seeing if it kills it. Maybe, I ha maybe it has to be white? Well, that's that game. What was that? Bomb Disposer. <laughs> Generic but distinct Duck Amaro, yes. Duck Adventures. Not DuckTales. Duck Adventures. Please be a DuckTales clone. World 1-1. One, one. Super Mario Brothers? Oh, this is music. Oh, the controls are... You move a whole step with one... With one movement. That's weird. Triple A title. <laughs> Wait, I don't have any more bombs. What am I supposed to do? Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> uh, so do I just die or? Can I do something to create a bomb? Oh, we got some Mr. Do action here. Do, 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 fuck. Excuse my language. I walk over him. There we go. It's uh, Mr. Do's castle. With bombs, for some reason. Or Load Runner, if you, if you played that before. Oh, and I can fall without dying, that's cool. Game Boy Penguin game? Wait, what? Wait, did I... Did I make the brick come back? So bomb is like a last resort. Perhaps. Thank you. 22 months? Crazy. So dude, you can just you can just sit here and farm. Oh, I want that. I hate that um I really hate that your movement is tied to squares. It's really bad. Cause look, he just he and he, he also it takes him a second to start walking. You see that? He's like, Ugh, let's go. Ugh. <laughs> this is almost a good game. Almost. So can I just sit here and wait for them to come to the sides? I think I can. Oops, too early. <laughs> oh, he can come up the stairway. What am I doing? Which 
controls are so bad, dude. There's no timer either. So you could literally just sit here. I don't think things disappear either. Nope! Dude, the, the freaking running, the running animation. Not animation, the, the, the fact that you have to like Start walking to a direction. He's not gonna come this way, are they? Are you guys too smart for this? Nope. Is there a game called Space Panic? Give this one more credit. This could be a good game if they would have made the controls better. If the controls were tight, like like uh, Mr. Deuce Castle, this would be a great game. The controls are really bad though. Also, when you bonk them on the head, they, uh, the, the brick comes back, so you have to hit it again to fall through the hole. Team Ira. I get a super bonk. I guess you could um you could make it so that they're trapped here, so they have to go down the pathway that you decide. So there could be a little bit more strategy to it than what I'm doing. Controls are still bad, though. So you could just... Oh, I get two now. I actually don't like that. I was trying to say, if I just take away the platforms right away around the stairs, then they're not going to have anywhere to go. I think I've played Digger, I think.
So if you just take away all the platforms, they can't do anything. Duck Adventures. Meh. Trap and Turn, I think we already played. That is the Othello game. Yep. Snake Roy. I can only guess what this is. I think this is the game with amazing art. Dude, look at the art on this. <laughs> I am Snake Roy. I feel like that needs to be a camera. Like a when I want don't want to be on camera, I'll just use this as my avatar. <laughs> And yet, it's just a snake game. <laughs> this is a very common game, too. For the system. Games in general are uncommon, but this is a common game if you do find games. minute long cutscenes. This is going to drain half your AA battery. <laughs> Oba's head tra tra <laughs> like transforms into the snake. A woman who will replace you. What? Young King, as long as you step down, you won't be hurt. Nonsense. You'll pay for your... Uh, obstance? Obstancy? You don't know what you're saying. Aha! You're looking for trouble. Dude, Jada. Jada's trying to start some ish. She's gonna curse him and change him into a snake. <clears throat> oh, sweet! Dude, he's gonna change into a snake! I will make your life hell. Be wondering, King Roy. Dang, dude. He's a snake! That was actually really rad. I'm glad we watched that cutscene. Explains the whole backstory. And that's kid. that kids? That's why you, might, you be nice to, to old witches. Or you change into this guy. <laughs> What's up, Shintok? What's up, North Star? speed up button. This is the best game. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 game. Fast as you need to. 
I'm gonna go fast, dude. Every game so far is really slow paced. I wonder if I, I wonder if this um system had a really low like refresh rate, and that's why all these games run at like turtle speed. Hey, turn. Because of the screen's poor refresh, yeah. This game allows you to buffer inputs, which is pretty easy for a snake game. Oh yeah, it's probably Woo because look at High Zone at the top. Oh yeah, there you go. Same conclusion. Best game? I mean, it's got the best cover art, for sure. Best cutscene, too. I wonder if there's, um, I wonder if there's boss fights, because it's like 1-4. What's gonna happen when we get to 2? Hey, this has different music, too, per stage. It also has a sense of a bass. stages there. Yes. Wait, how do we get to the other side? I do. Uh, can I screen scroll? It's been rainy here crazy every day, too. Um, I don't know how to get to the other side. Maybe I get the... Maybe I don't pick up the, uh... The coins? Be some pretty hard rain then. The door transparent. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. My buttons don't do anything. Slug doesn't do anything. No, I just tried to go through it. What? Well, 
Well, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Never mind. Still 10 out of 10 game. Oh my gosh, I just want to see if there's a boss fight. We're playing this until we get to 2 something. See what the difference is. Sal. No, I haven't. I saw that one of Zaller's records got taken down. Feel free to post link to Team Murdoch. Like 50 songs on this game? <laughs> A two player mode in Punch Out? Wait, what? Prototype or the retail release? We pretty wild. Oh, there's a stage select on the debug mode with two player. Wow. Surprised it wasn't found earlier. Oh, it looks like we have our first enemy here. Wonder what it's gonna do, if it's gonna shoot like a fireball or something. Looks like we have a power-up too. I'm hoping. Uh, I don't know how to get that one. Very unbalanced and crazy. Huh. Sounds wild. Holy moly, look at this bonus stage. Timed. Oh, I'm the length. I was. Wow. I don't know what A is, but I figured if it was speed, I need it. Let me go get that long strain just in case. Thanks, Murdoch. So there wasn't a boss, there was just that bonus match. 
the game probably doesn't have much to offer past that. We'll complete this stage and move on. But I can see myself playing this <coughs> as a kid and enjoying it. I mean, it's a simple snake game, but there's a little bit more going on here. Alright, let's look at this real quick. Emergency stream, you better believe it. I... <laughs> Shoulders done. <laughs> it, like, matters. That. Oh, you can, like, change, uh... You can change players? Okay. That's interesting. Oh my god! I couldn't move, dude. Online kind of enhances the experience. That's pretty cool. I was hoping it was going to be two players at the same time. Like, whoa. Amazing. All right, I'll check out the video later, Murdoch. Thank you, though. Worm Visitor. Worm Visitor. That's the name of the game. That's cool. From one snake game to another, it's funny. Wait, do I have to take leaps of three? No, I can. Okay. Okay, so the controls are weird in this as well. Like. I don't understand movement. Sometimes I go like one thing and sometimes I go like three. Looks like when you go up you have to go three. Oh, this is a Sasha game. Everything else we played tonight is by common. This is uh Sachin, so different developer here. I'm so confused. Dude, I'm so confused. The controls are horrible. It's like, uh... See, look, I can go one here, left and right. But when I go up, it wants to go three. It's really annoying. Ah! What were they thinking? Okay, so it wants you to crawl in traffic like that. This is so frustrating. Holy crap. I can't go up here because I'm going to run into the truck. See? 
I guess that would be like Frogger motion, because Frogger has to jump. Okay. Well, if I think about if I think that I'm playing Frogger, then that kind of makes it easier mentally for me to handle. Let me try to think of it like that. But here, there's no way for me to get past. There was no way for me to get past there because I couldn't go up. All right, we'll get this time out, and then we have to go left. There's no way for me to get here. I guess I have to crawl. No, but the uh, the timing. I'm gonna have to go back down. Get another clock stop. No, Ugh, dude. What a horrible idea <laughs> for controls. See, I can't... I can't go up here. Maybe I can go up and then down? Nope. Let me get this thing. Oh, I just completely blocked off traffic. Unless I can scoot by this semi up... Top right? No, I can't go up. Bruh. I'm gonna give it one more credit, but controls really don't make sense to me. So I'm stuck here. Good. Uh, I think I can make it through this? Wow. Game over. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the real Frogger-ish. So yeah, it makes more sense like this. Why not open with this stage as opposed to the traffic stage? <laughs> oh, look at the slug! Beep, 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 beep. I gotta go wait here. It's a pretty tight window, too. Oh, there's a bigger window right there. I'm gonna take this one, though. So, I have to just wait there? That's goofy. Bad choices were made here. Wait here, I guess. <coughs> no pepper for me. Oh, Pepper is fast movement. That's good. Oh, of course. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna beat this stage and then we'll move on.
Greedy. Oh no! <laughs> Worm visitor. It's my uh my hardcore band, Worm Visitor. <laughs> Sus. Sus image. Right, I, gotta, I gotta start getting through these quicker. Magic tower. Magic cool tower. Or one. What the heck do you do? What the heck do you do? Beep, 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 beep. So I got a jump button that like jumps up to the next level, but I can't I can't go like left and right when I'm jumping. And then when I run into another hand, I turn into whatever their, uh, sign is. <coughs> it looks like it's, um, it's on paper, so I could beat rock. I think it's rock, paper, scissor, platformer. So I could beat this rock guy. Come here, rock, what you got? Got him. So now I'm scissor. There's no paper anywhere. So what's the goal? Is it to get to the end of the stage, or to... I guess I probably have to beat everybody, huh? I can't... Unfortunately, I can't drop down. Your scissors. So... Oh, there's paper. Oh, now I'm paper, too. Paper that would beat me. I can beat scissors though. I don't like that you change when you uh, when you run into somebody though. That could beat rock, which is down there. This is kind of interesting idea. That's scissors. Two scissors won't do anything. Oh, there's a rock. Oh, this is probably like a time boss. Yep. I like how the time boss is cooler than the whole game. So it can't be paper. Oh, I'm rock now. Oh, so when you run into, um, I think when you run into another of the same, it randomly gives you rock, paper, scissor. So there's paper. I'm gonna go chase after paper. What? That's not a hitbox. Beep, 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 beep. Dude, sometimes they can go up two things. That's not fair. They just went up three. And okay, I'm rock. Rock can beat scissors. Now I'm paper. Wish you could drop down too. So I could beat that rock down there. Look, Pammy. Beep, 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 beep. There's, there's a rock. Got him. So now I'm scissors. Scissor can beat paper. 
And... Rock versus rock doesn't change anything. I need paper? Don't see any paper around though. What is this? Is it scissors? So I, I guess I should run into scissors to get another draw. It's on paper, so I can beat rock now. And what am I? I'm scissors. Can't beat scissors. So here's rock. This for paper. No, I'm paper. I thought it was gonna be scissors. Beep 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 beep. So, oh, there's a rock. Oh no, he's gonna be okay. Good. Boom. This is interesting. I like this. Magic tower. Magical tower. Alright, I see you, paper. No! You got by! I don't like that they can go up like two sets, though. It's bullshit. Ah! Got him. I'm rock? Oh. Scissors, what's up? Boom. I just wish you stayed your, um, what you were previously. That's my only gripe. And I wish you could drop down, too. Dropping down and then staying what you are. Got him. So we're looking for paper. Oh, there's a rock. I'll take... Uh, there's paper. So, rock versus rock. Well, I can kill the scissors. There we go. Paper? Oh, shit! Oh, I gotta go down this way. This is a little bit better than Snake Roy. Sorry, Snake Roy lovers. Alright, we're a rock. There's paper over there. Go get him. Wish you could jump, too. Paper? What you got? Wait, what happened there? I don't understand what happened. Oh, scissors, though. I thought. I mean, that must have been what it was. Sheet. What's up, Tan? Tan? Welcome. Oh no! Not the rock! Oh, you son of a biscuit. Alright, we're paper. Paper, I can only kill rock. Oh, here's rock. I can kill these scissors over here, or this pair of scissors. Wait, no, I'm paper. Why am I paper? I can kill rock. And scissors can kill the paper down here. Nice. And I'm rock. Uh, yeah, I can make this happen. If I fall just right. Oh, dang it. Uh, dang it. All right, one more. Sorry, one more. Continue. I actually like this game. Uh, paper. Got him. Rock. So I can kill the scissors down here. Mm 
Nice. Paper and kill this rock. Do I need those speed boots? Nice. I am rock. I see you, paper. Oh, wait, paper can kill me. Scissors, though. Dude, I can't even get to the work. What? Which one's the scissors? I think it's this bottom one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. And what's up, scissors? What have you been talking about me? Got him. All right. <laughs> that game rules. <laughs> ten out of ten. Magical tower. Yeah, so we're playing on uh, something called the Mr. FPGA. It's a open source FPGA um, kit that you can basically build yourself, and you get perfect cycle accurate cores, uh, allowing you to play old systems like the Mega Duck. This is a uh, old Game Boy clone, but there's uh, computers and consoles, and <coughs> it, wor it works out great. All right, so let's uh, spin the wheel. Zip ball. Oh, from Jurassic, nice. Oh, look, bunny girl. Yeah, there's a there's a D10 nano right here on the couch. <laughs> Is this a pinball game? No, why can't I get a pinball game? Oh, so this is a really weird game. Um, you have to, like, capture the ball and then throw it? It's really weird. You can't get hit the skull. Okay. This game seems pretty cool. I've watched actually watched a speedrun of it before. But, um, the problem is, that, is I'm not going to learn how to play it, uh, in this short amount of time. I'll try to beat the, I'll try to beat this one stage. Can you guys tell that the uh, the controls are really funky? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. So this is probably a good game. I mean, to throw the controls. This is probably a good game if you learn how to do the controls, but it's really weird. The AC is set to seventy. Sorry, didn't mean to unmute there. Magical maze we just played, right? No, we played Magical Tower. What's this? I like the scrolling effects that they use here. For some of these intros. It's like, yeah, I can do that, but it's not really anything you'd want to include in gameplay. Is this another Othello game? Wait. We saw another... <coughs> there was a Sashin game that had this kind of rolling mechanic. That was pretty cool.
A little bit different, though. I like the other game better, the other rolling game. This one doesn't seem as reasonable. Wait, do I have to kill everything too? Hmm. Veered. The movements of the enemy is so weird. So this is probably just another version of the other game that we played. I like the, for sure, like the other format though. That's magic maze. Second space. This is Sasha too, I think. <coughs> yep. I think we played this on one of the other Clone cores. We'll go fast. Wee. Wait. Yeah, it's kind of like quicks, but I don't think I can let anything. I forgot how you die here. Well, obviously you can get hit by the, the thing floating around. If you wait to... when it's touching your square, you kill it. Fastest thing we've seen moving on the, uh, on the console? Yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. If I just wait here... There we go. So it should kill it. Then it will just reappear. Let me try to get another one ready here. Got him. Too fast for you? Sorry, bud. Yeah, if any of you guys get motion sickness because of the the blazing speed of, of uh, second space, I, I do apologize. Well, this is a good game. I like this uh, for the other console that we played it on. What row? The only downside to this game is uh, the pictures revealing. The pictures that we're revealing should be of uh, of questionable content, and it's not. Bruh. 
These hitboxes. Yeah, everything's moving way too fast. <laughs> Gotta beat this one, though. Gotta beat this stage. Hiya? Ah. No. No hiya. Oh, I'm trapped. Past them. Aya. <laughs> Bonk. Hey, it's, it's who I am. It's who I am, Cathode. I will never be ashamed of that. Dude. Come on now. Yeah, it seems pretty catchy. Dun, dun, dun. Nice, nice. Beast Fighter. <laughs> One day, five large meteors were found in Paris, New York, Iceland, Egypt, and China. All the NASA and scientists on Earth were involved in investigating because they were the largest ever found, and life seemed to be inside. Scientists tried every way to reveal the truth, and accidentally woke up the unknown lives. They were warriors in Monica fighting for survival because of the radical differences. Finally, Monica was destroyed and they are now ruining the Earth after being awakened and looking for other Monica. Worries for more fights. Monica. Monsters? I think, I think they want monsters there. Oh, we got a big boy. You know, Dacula? <laughs> Dacula? We got Dalea? We got Bill. Oh, this is Bill. You guys know Bill? Kuski. Kuskli. Oh, dude, Beaven's song, though. We're gonna go with Bill. Bill's in China. Alright. Okay, we got a punch and a kick. Looks like a jump, too. Bill's kind of a wimp. Like a block mechanism or something? Hmm. 
Probably totally a power up, I just missed. No, you already said it. You you have to like this game now, Cathode, sorry. Yeah, it kinda does remind me of that early Godzilla game too. when I get all the way powered up. That's probably when, like, my boss fight happens. I imagine I get to the end of the stage and, and I have to do a boss fight. That's probably done through all the power-ups. I'm guessing. The full power of the duck. This is blast, blast duck processing. the sounds. Dude, he just punched me in the dick. I feel like I'm losing. Oh, look at the power, dude. That's the power gauge to the other dude below me. The bottom. He's got a lot of health. Compared to me, which is the top gauge. I probably have to play more defensively. To beat this stage. Oh, there is a super joy. Super joy! Super Joy! I got no more Super Joys. So I think the Super Joys are used by the, uh... My pal. Okay, here we go. You know about the kick to the head. He punched me in, in air. His reach is really good. Probably his power-up move. Wouldn't say this is fun. He's about to die. Wonder how you're supposed. To Wonder how you're supposed to play that. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's Beast Fighter. Well, it stinks because, like, you would look at the pixels of that game and be like, oh man, that game's gonna be awesome. <coughs> but it stinks. Four in one.
Do I have the foreign one? Oh, I do. Virus attack, electron world, trouble zone, and dice block. This doesn't even have shading. Oh, there we go. Will we have a Space Invaders game? Hot jams. There's gotta be a better game than Space Jam. What is this, like, Galaxian? Multiple hits. So which one was this one? This is I think this is a virus attack. But we'd probably want to shoot all these guys at the very beginning, because they come down and swoop swoop at you. There doesn't seem to be any kind of like Galga capture mechanic or anything. That guy's cute. And then these guys take multiple hits. Not bad. For a game. Looks like it's the same thing, though. Alright, let's, uh... See if we can get back to the home screen. Electron World. I'm surprised there's not, like, uh... You know what's surprising is there's not generic sport games on here. Like baseball, basketball, soccer, etc. Chip CPU. I think I killed myself by accident? Oh, so that's probably what I'm defending. So it's, this is probably a tank game where I'm defending my home base. So let's go find the, uh, who we're supposed to be defending it against. Is that harmonica? Where's their home base? Or do we just kill them all? Think I'm invincible? Oh, that dude's making a run for it! See you, asshole. What if there's an X amount of enemies I need to kill, or what's going on here? I think I need to kill three more enemies with the stars. Yep. Can 
Come on. One more. See how slow it is? Why is every game so slow? G. Yeah, I shouldn't have that's why I noticed as well. If I hit select and start, A and B, that was Electron World. This is Trouble Zone. So what is this, Columns? I don't think I've ever seen a game like this with numbers, though. I wonder if you can get straights as well. That'd be kind of cool. <coughs> so what does two ones do next to each other? There's three sixes. Five, two... Put them next to each other. Another three one here. The one should all drop down. I wonder if one to do three works. Oh, it doesn't. Boo. Yo, hey, Bidow. Welcome. Hope you've been well. Beep, 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 beep. How in the H-E-C-K are you supposed to... There's like, no, there's like not skill, it's just like what drops. If you could get straights like one, two, three, then this would have a little bit more interest to me because you'd be able to do straights and matching. But like, there's no five or six here. So there's nothing I can really do. And then stacking two threes on each other doesn't work. You always have to get horizontal, horizontal straights. I don't think they thought this one not too good. Yeah, doing well, doing well. Streaming when I can. So this four, these fours will go out. So like, I could get the six on top of the one over here, but then... It's stuck. There's three threes. I didn't think that went out too much. That was trouble zone. This is dice block. Hey, Sashin has some decent jams though, I'll give him that. What do we do here now? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, dude. Anyone? Buttons aren't doing anything. That's a game. That was dice block. All right, we're gonna move on. The brick wall. What an arcanoid, probably. I hope. Or is it an upside down Tetris? Did it just do, uh. It just did, um. 
the two pins thing, but it didn't finish it. Which is evil. What do I do? <coughs> so I wonder if I... I'm supposed to shoot this dude? Or if I'm just supposed to finish all the blocks out. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> doot doot! <laughs> I can't believe it- I can't believe it leaves you hanging there. So this thing, for some reason- okay, so this is a button. This converts these blocks. And I'm not sure exactly why it stops where it does. And then I can change, hit the other button, and then shoot like... Shoot shots to it? No, I can't. I'm confused again. Okay, so I have my wall built up. He's gonna run over me again. Hmm. No idea. Let's look at level two, I guess. Dun dun. <laughs> That's so cruel. Yeah, so maybe it just wants you to completely build out this block. Three whole decades. Hater! Hater, thank you for three whole decades, I guess. How you doing, bud? Three years, thank you so much. What's the hats? What is your current burrito situation? Do you have a burrito? Do you not have a burrito? It's very important. Moving five pins, oh man. Were they all super pins, like super heavy games? I think moving pinball is probably one of my least favorite things to do with the sport. So something just happened to the time there. What's up, Shadow Guys? Welcome. They build up a wall. <laughs> I'm trying to blow him up. I can't reach him, though. Yeah, no idea what to do here. Baywatch F14, JJP, GNR, Mando out. And Swords of Fury in your house, nice. Lion Man! Railway.
<laughs> oh jeez. It's, uh, Pipe Dreams. Which I'm horrible at. Is that not how you do this? I think that should be it. Yeah, wait for the time to run out. That's kind of weird that it's instead of a liquid, it's a train, though. That's kind of cool. I have a friend who's, like, uh, insane at, at pipe dreams. Like this. And, uh, she used to kill it in the, the Bioshock, like, when Bioshock has those little puzzles like that. She'd go, like, all crazy. And I just stand there, and, like, I can't, I can't see it. That's Railway. That seems decent, but... I mean, I'm not good at pipe dreams. We gotta move on. Pile Wonder. What is this, Boxy Boy? Wee! 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 You guys, remember that password? H D Y I X. Again, a game that moves really slow. <laughs> so, more batteries. It's Boxy Boy or a Subukan. Oh, I forgot how it's exactly pronounced, but we've seen this type style of gameplay before. We're looking for original ideas here. We've actually found some pretty cool original games. And then some games that actually could have been really good with a little bit of different controls. Like that penguin game would have been fun. Or the chicken game, I mean. Arctic Zone. Oh, this is Quarth. We played this last time. We streamed this. Horizontal Quarth. Unfortunately, you can't skip. Speed up. You're able to move forward and go, f like, speed up the stage. Unfortunately, you can't do that in this one. You have to wait for it to appear. You also can't buff your inputs. Like, do a bunch of bunch at one time.
Most you can have out at once is, uh, two, it looks like. Oh, no, there's three. Looks like the block almost goes like past it and then gets pulled back. This song uh, uh, actually reminds me of uh, Boy and His Blob. Anybody else hear it? Hear it, yeah. So this is okay. Uh, I recommend you just go play Quarth instead. It's on Game Boy and MSX and Nintendo. Plays a lot better too. And arcade as well, of course. Dang it. I yeah. Uh, it looks like you have like a bomb sweep like there. That's Arctic Zone. Um, I'd probably recommend that. in one. Stotris one, Stotris two, Taiwan, Japan, Hong Kong. Please tell me that those are the name of the game. This game is called Hong Kong. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like we finally have just a real generic Tetris game. What? So that's... What's... Th What's the difference to this one? Oh, it's got weird blocks. Look at this block! Taiwan is the name of the game. Oh, we got Mahjong. Okay.
Japan, Mahjong. Oh, so these are all three Mahjong games. Okay. So those are the, these are the games I was missing were on the ones that are on multi-cart. Okay. Unfortunately, the five and one is kind of a bust. The song, though. Armor Force we already played. I liked it. That was the the vertical sh sh shmup. Captain Knickknack we played as well. Let me load up to see what that is again, though. I think I liked that game. Yeah, I, I wrote this down as one of my favorites. What was this one again? Oh, this is the shmup. That's right. Puppet Knight. I don't think we played this. <laughs> what was the, um... What was the Paper, Rock, Scissor game? Magical Tower, I think. Oh, so this is Bomberman, isn't it? Yeah, this is Bomberman. Weird that this game is Bomberman, but the the game named Bomber something was not Bomberman. I'm not good at Bomberman games either. And of course, you have very speedy, very speedy movement. Play two bombs at once. Nice. Right off the bat. <laughs> Big bada boom. Word. Ah! Previously, they hadn't been going through power up, so I thought that was a thing. Alright, I'll give this an actual try now. PX03. Alright, so I'm gonna bump here. Dude, look how fast they walk, and look how fast I walk. How's that fair? Freaking Speedy Gonzalez over there. Hey, Gom. I'm dead. <laughs> Derp. Alright. <laughs> if you like Bomberman games, check that game out. Puppet Knight. And then I think I played this other one already. <laughs> Solomon's Treasure. We played that. Yo, what's up, Shaq? I saw a bumper sticker, Shaq, that said... I live that Shaq lifestyle. What is that... What does that mean? I figured you would know. What is this game again? I don't remember. Oh yeah. This is the Aardvark game. So I like this. I'm gonna put this in the favorites. 
Music, not so good, but... Solomans or Sullivan? What is it called? Sullivan. Sullivan. You don't want to know what it means? Gotcha. Alright, and then the one left is Vex. Vex block. You must get ten horizontals to pass through. Wait, what? Is this Nax, Cax, whatever it's called? Wait, what? What is this thing? <clears throat> Dang it! Didn't mean to do that. Ah! I'm horrible! Try that again. And not reset? Playing some arcade games, nice. There's like no way. Oh, there is a way to accelerate it. Okay. I don't know if I'm playing this right or not. I think so, because it says five more to go in the bottom. Four more. What happens if we get another one where we don't have it? This thing looks like a VHS tape. tape. Weird. Say this is a good game. I I think, yeah, I think like, I think you can stack these like multiple times, and then if you're really good, you can like lay them on top of each other and stuff. But I don't really know how to play uh, the original game this is based on, which is an Atari arcade game.
I guess I guess if you're like super into this game though, that's a good thing. I'll, I want to try to do a um horizontal combination to see if it works or not. Yeah, so it's, okay. So yeah, you can probably set up like uh something like that, like multi multi kills. We'll take both of these. We'll throw this one to the side, throw that there. We don't have any either one of those. Oops. Weird. I think that's all these games. Ant Soldiers is actually pretty good for like a living style, style game. What was Arctic Zone again? Oh yeah, this is the uh... game we just played. With original song. Duck Adventures was... Yeah, I kinda like this game now. The bad thing about this game though... Is uh, your, your movement, because you have to go solid blocks. There's some pretty cool things about it though. So I'll put that. What else do we play? What was the Magic Maze game? Magic Maze game was the one where uh I couldn't really figure out how to beat the stage, I think. Oh, no, no. This is that other... Okay, yeah, I didn't like this. Pile Wonder? What was Pile Wonder again? Oh, yeah, it's the Boxy Boy. Puppet Night, we just played, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, uh, the Bomberman. Yeah. Row A was the uh, Pipe Dream. Snake Roy rules. Even though it's just a snake game. Street Rider was really bad. Solomon's Treasure I liked. What is Trap and Turn again? I thought that was the Othello game. Is this the Othello one? Yep. Okay. Vex block we just played, which is Clax. Worm Visitor. I don't think Worm Visitor was good. This is like, I think this is the first session game that we played of the night. Yeah, this is Frogger, but like with really bad controls. You can move one left and right, but you have to go a full jump to go forward. Not a fan. Zip Ball is that uh, game where you capture the ball, but has really weird controls. What's Second Space? Second Space was the one with the koala, I think. Oh no, Second Space is cool. That's the that's the uh, quick style game. All right, let me put that in there too. Sorry, I like to um on my videos when I post them and paste them, I like to give recommendations. Um, or the or highlight the games that I like. That's what I'm doing now. 
This was good. Armor Force was pretty good for a shmup. Just a little slow. Beast Fighter stunk, unfortunately. Black Forest Tail. That was the one where you're, I looked like Chun Li. I couldn't figure out how to beat the stage, I think. Yep. It looks like it's gonna be super good, too. But it's not. <laughs> It's this. <laughs> Bomb Disposer is like a Columns type st style game, or Dr. Mario, that's what it was. Brick Wall was not an Arkanoid. No Arkanoid game or no uh, sports games, which is pretty surprising. Yeah, that was. This is that game that was really bad. Captain Knickknack that I like. What was Captain Knickknack again, though? Oh, yeah, the shmup. Alright, so that's all of them. Cool beans. Well, that was fun. Thanks, guys, for uh, hanging out. That was all the uh, Mega Duck games. Oh, I think that was almost all the, the entire library. Um, And thanks, everybody from the Mr. Crew that, uh, added and fixed Megaduck support for the Game Boy Core. Much appreciated, as always. Let's see uh, who's streaming here. Boom. Boom. 